From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. Many people have dreamed of being able to fly as simply as riding a bicycle. Over the past 10 years, developments in technology have moved the dream of personal flying vehicles closer to reality. Now, two groups of inventors say such vehicles may be available very soon. The British company Malloy Aeronautics has developed a prototype or model of its flying bicycle. The company says its hoverbike is a personal flying vehicle. Grant Stapleton is the marketing sales director of Malloy Aeronautics. He says the hoverbike is able to get in and out of small spaces very quickly. Mr. Stapleton says safety was the company's main concern when developing the hoverbike. He says the designers solved the safety issue by using overlapping rotors to power the vehicle. He says the power comes from adducted propellers, blades that turn quickly and cause the vehicle to move in enclosed spaces. Inventors say their hoverbike will most likely be used first by the military, police, and emergency rescue teams. In New Zealand, the Martin Aircraft Company is also testing a full-scale version of its personal flying device called Jetpack. It can fly for more than 30 minutes, up to 1,000 meters high, and reach a speed of 74 kilometers per hour. Peter Coker is the chief executive officer of Martin Aircraft Company. He says Jetpack is built around safety from the start. Jetpack uses a gasoline-powered engine that produces two powerful jet streams. Mr. Coker says it also has a parachute that can be used in an emergency. It will be available to buy in 2016 and cost about $200,000. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.